Mm. Oh boy, I seem to be getting a little bit of an ad over here. Just a minute, fellas, I'm just waiting for this ad to be over. Eh, huh, that's more like it. Anyways, what was this comment again? Uh, oh no, not the book. How many times have you seen the book before? We're not doing that. Uh, anyways, uh, that was that was just something random. Hi everybody, this is Black Rhino Ranger, and welcome to a well-written, well choreographed. Okay, maybe, okay, I, I'm not sure what I'm saying. Uh, well-written live stream. Today we'll be talking about literature. Yeah. Written stories throughout the ages, before the comic books, before television, people listened to either listened to stories or wrote the stories. And on and today in the UK, though I'm not there at the moment, but it's in the UK, it is World Book Day. Now some of you might be wondering why exactly on March 3rd and not something like April 23rd. Well, to be absolutely honest, there's a bit of a whole, there's a bit of a something I have on April 23rd, which I cannot mention, so, uh, let's just say, uh, there's another hiatus coming up. Anyway, so for, for this occasion, I must, what, what, in this live stream, you, you must request me anything relating to these, to the works of literature, from books, classic novels, and something like that. Here's what I can do. I can have characters acting and or dressing up, characters reading specific books, characters doing both, or characters from the books if I can. And there are at least four different options for this. There's characters reading by genre. Are they reading something adventurous, or detective, or fantastical? Or is it reading something based on specific author works like that of William Shakespeare, Charles Dickens, Beatrix Potter, etc. Or classic novels like Bram Stoker's Dracula, or Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, or Charles Dickens' Oliver Twist. Or things you can do with a book, like writing a book, drawing a book, using it to shield your eyes while sleeping, eating the pages, ripping pages, the list goes on. And, if, and which one do you want me to choose? And if you have nothing to request, just ask me any question. And if you like, you may use the super chat for any rule-free and theme-free request. Okay, I got that British accent out of my system. Let's see what you got. Let's see. Now, I will do, do the characters dressing up thing, but which of these categories at the bottom should I choose? Reading by genre, authors, classic novels, or things to do with a book. Now that'll take too long. It'll take too long for me to do all of them. I said I, I can do characters dressing up, but it's the bottom ones I have to choose. Let's see. Classic novels. Classic novels. What are What did I miss? Um, nothing much, just my British accent intro. Uh, again, do you want me to have characters reading by genre, or have a book from several authors, classic novels, or things to do with a book? Mm -hmm. I think I've, I found my audience. Uh, nope, that's not it. Yikes! E uh, nope, nope. Zink. There. All right, fellas. Um, let's get the show on the road. So, what's your what's your first request? Do you do you, do you have a character reading a book from a, something adventurous? Do you have a character? Does he dress up as it? Is it something like uh, Moby Dick, or um, or Treasure Island, or something like that? Well, what what type of what type of uh, what type of adventure book are you thinking of, fellas? There's Oh, that Sam I am, that Sam I am. I do not like that Sam I am. Wait, is Frog? Wait, Frog and Toad. Is it? Is that from? Is that from? Uh, Eric? Is that from Eric I? Is there a book called Frog and Toad? Oh, oh, there is a book. I never noticed that one. One, 
Is it called Frog and Toad are Friends by Arnold Lobel? Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm tempted to draw them in the style of an amphibia, but uh, I gotta be a little bit more respectful than that. Um, just uh, just doing a little um, search for something. I'll be. Hmm. Of course, there's um, there are you know there are some uh, there are plenty of classic books that unfortunately are are forbidden to be said at this day and age, including Dr. Zeus's um, earliest um, earliest um, book, the um, um, it's um, some I I think I'm not sure I forgot what the name of of that book is, um, but uh, the the reason why that book was banned is because it has a depiction of a Chinese man with sticks who eats with his sticks. That's what the, the was written in the book. And even and because that book was banned, even even people trying to sell it on eBay had it banned. So, um, yeah, I'm unable to get my hands on that book. Even though I am partially Chinese, I am of a, I am of a Chinese descent, after all. I don't actually find it... I, I'm, I'm not too offended by it. It's just, um, remember, peop, some people had a different um, um, view. Back then, we weren't so PC and stuff like that, and sometimes we had a bit of a different mind. Set. And even Dr. Zeus himself uh, didn't didn't exactly know, but he wasn't trying to be racist or anything. He was just um, he was just new to the whole thing, and to be and um, and keep in mind, fellas, this is a guy. You are talk the the li this live stream is presented by a guy who has seen the Aristocats with the Shanghai Hong Kong Egg Fu Young. Cats from uh, Aristocats. The fortune cookie always wrong. And it's al it's also a type of a stereotype that be carried that was also used in the Looney Tunes. And also in in classic Disney, in other classic Disney things. Also 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 was also in Lady and the Tramp with the Siamese cats that we are Siamese if you please. In the remake to Lady and the Tramp, they completely cut off that song and replaced it with something a bit more PC, let's say. And um I there was even there was even a book about uh this mice about these anthropomorphic mice that was banned in some schools, even though they could be used as a learning tool, like uh, sim similar to to kill a mockingbird. Hmm. And uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes, I I often say to myself, "Are we really trying to hide history?" Are we trying to? I mean, sometimes we have to learn from our mistakes. I mean, I mean, yes, what they, they, those things are wrong back then, and as they are wrong now, but it should be viewed as a learning experience. I mean, I mean, sometimes you want you you tr you try to make sure there's happiness all the time, but sometimes we need a little bit of sadness in our life. That's what Inside Out taught me. Mm. 
And then to make sure this one is frog and one is toad, um, I kind of think, I always think they're like fatter versions of Kermit the Frog. There we go, fellas. We have um, we have um, Sam I am offering some green eggs and ham to Frog and Toad. Sam I am offering green eggs and ham to Frog and Toad who are going on the road. Try my best to make a rhyme here, like Dr. Zeus. Okay, what was I? Okay, um, let's see, um. I know it's just a bit of a I'll, I'll add in the titles of the books later. I feel like they might take a little too long to uh, to um, use every book there. Matt is imaginable. Now I will, I will, I think I, I think I already said this before, but originally I did want to make a William Shakespeare themed live stream because I have a thing for William Shakespeare. But when I ask my, my fans about this, uh, they, they say that they don't know too much about William Shakespeare, except for Romeo and Juliet and maybe Hamlet. So I had to, so... I th so as a result, I thought maybe reading live will help resort to in case anybody wants to do William Shakespeare or anything.
you know what? I won't bother with the with the actual tiles. I'll just scribble whatever there is. There we go, fellas. We have Spyro, Drobot, and Jeremy buried in books. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's see. What else do we have? Um. All right. Um. Lego. Lego. She. Lego. She. Is that like? Oh, wait. Something. Sup. Sup. Oops. <laughs> Oops, I uh, pressed the restart button by accident. <laughs> hey, don't worry, I'm still alive. Uh, it's just that I, uh... Um, thankfully, nothing is lost. <laughs> I just accidentally pressed the refresh button. Um... I'm sure somebody in the anime community is probably going to be upset that I'm that I'm uh, using hmm. Wouldn't it be better if Jenny was Judy Hopps and uh, and Pink Fong was uh, Nick Wilde from Zootopia In fact Beastar I always thought Beastars he was, was a bit like a more serious and darker version of Zootopia. Yeah. And I'll and another thing I'll be honest about. Whenever I see the title Beastars, I keep mistaking it for Beast Wars, the uh, Transformers franchise I was introduced to. Hmm. It was when my interest of one of my when one of the reasons I was interested in animals at the beginning. Alongside Rocco's modern life. Another thing I sometimes I also see B stars as a as a bit of Bojack Horseman in a way, with, at least by the character designs, where the characters look more like hu, where, where the characters' bodies are more like human than they are, than they are more like their animal counterparts. In fact, Bojack Horseman base most of the characters are designed like their not exactly anthropomorphic animals, but they all wear um, animal masks, let's say. I mean, they, uh... Said some... Uh, just a minute, fellas, I need to... I'll be right back, I just need to use the bathroom.
Ugh. Okay, finished. Now let's uh, let me just finish that. Uh, what was that? Um, all right, here he here he is. Um, it's kind of weird. I'm having. I'm casting a fox to play a wolf. Oof. Then again, I did remember this thing, this scene in Scooby's All Star Laugh Olympics, where Mildew Wolf was in a foxhole. Hi, Mildew Wolf here in a foxhole. <laughs> um. I think that's about it, fellas. We have uh, um, Pink Fong and Jenny dressing up as Ligoshi and Harimau. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, Double. <laughs> I can actually imagine, um, um, I can actually, um, hmm, if that's the case, I can actually imagine, um, I can actually imagine, um, Eddie being Gollum, he'd be like, my precious, and I can imagine Ed sort of being Sam wise or maybe maybe Pippin or uh, I've forgotten the other guy and um, was it Mary and Pippin I'm um, sorry I'm just trying to remember Lord of the Rings it's been it's been quite a while since I've seen Lord of the Rings um wait, 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 wait. Yeah, of course, uh, knowing that this is double D, there is no way I can, uh, there is no way I can, um, draw him without his classic hat. Hmm. 
Hmm. Now let's just um, This this one though. Um, and let's not forget, you must bear must have the uh, the ring on. And somewhere where he, in order to safely, he uh, position it, we to successfully bring it back to Mordor, where they can destroy it. something to help guide him Um, you know, the funny that somebody once asked me to draw something B star related because uh, Legoshi is kind of sounds a, a little bit like Lego last sense, and both names are similar to the Denmark. Um, oh, oh yeah, I forgot. Um, the to the Denmark um, toy brand. Uh, just a little reminder that the um, all all except the Canker sisters have four have three toes on on their foot. The Cankers are an exception. They have four in in at least in Ed's uh, nightmare in Ed's story in Once Upon an Ed. Here we go, fellas. We have Double D as Frodo Baggins, and uh, I think I've taken up way too much. Base, so um also I think uh, I think Lord of the Rings counts as advent does it wait um does count Lord of the Rings count as fantasy or an adventure? Let me know in the comments. Does it count more as an adventure or as uh or as um fantasy? Um both. It was for adventure, okay. Hmm. Okay, let me before I do before I do any more requests, I'm just gonna reduce their um their sizes because um I feel like I didn't I've taken a bit too much for them. They can always be resized. They can always since flash is like is not a bite map thing. Hmm. Oops. <laughs> since flash is not a bite map thing, I can always reduce to um hmm. 
it never loses its quality whenever I shrink them. Okay, um, just double check on. All right. Sorry, you just said whenever, whenever Izzy, whenever somebody mentions Izzy, that song often pops in my head. Oops. Hmm. Wait, I, I have a better... Edgy, why the heck did I just have her hold the pencil with her mouse? She can just use her magic. Oh well, Pinky just be Pinky. I mean, Izzy just be Izzy. Sorry, I keep confusing the Izzy is basically the same character as Pinky in a way. Upton having a bubbly personality. I bet we have, uh, I think we have, we have like, um, two different, we have three different Pinkie Pies as different species of, uh, horse of equines. We have an earth pony, who of course is Pinkie Pie. We have, uh, derpy hooves. And we have, um, and we have, uh, um, and of course we have Izzy, who's a unicorn. And Derpy is a Pegasus, Pinky's a Nerf Pony, and Izzy who's a Nerf, who's a unicorn. Hmm. We we have a sh now as for as for um, the shy ones, we have Fluttershy, who's a Pegasus. We have a uh, marble pie who's an earth pony, and um, yeah, all we're missing, all all we're missing is an is a unicorn who's also a shy one. Who do you think it, um did uh, was there was there one in was there ever one in the original My Little Pony or or probably not? Maybe they'll introduce that in maybe they'll introduce that in a 
in a new generation. Okay, what's his name? Same with the Hmm. Okay, this one might be a bit too complicated. The uh, sun, the sunny part to the. Okay, actually, maybe, maybe I can, maybe I can, maybe I can figure this one out. I'll try, I'll try. I heard um, Lauren Faust, the um, the developer of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, isn't exactly fond of Equestria Girls, saying that it kind of defeats the purpose of her original vision of My Little Pony, where most of it is just pure magic. But since he left after sometime around Season 2, um and she doesn't really have much of a creative input to the franchise. Um, much of it is null and void, and the, and the folks there, they can do pretty much whatever they want to MLP. Yeah. I mean, at one point, she did once uh, make a rule that uh, technology doesn't work, make, magic does not work on technology. Uh, around season two, that rule, that rule, it, it, that rule was kind of ruled out. With something like uh, Flim Flam's Super Speedy Super Cider Squeezy Six Thousand, in which uses both, which is a mixture of both technology and magic. There's a. Hmm. I think there was also um, there was also um, um, this this episode in uh, in the quest. Games where um, they have this thing that's like a metal detector, except it's to prevent unicorn to te temporarily disabling unicorn magic, preventing cheats, let's say. And of course, and of course, there's um, and of course there's um, um, Pony Life, which does use quite a bit of. Technology. I mean, every pony uses uh, phones. There's, and there's a there's even an app that makes a sound effect of meatballs. I mean, you click on it and it will go meatballs. In that game, was even there was even um, and a time when the Cutie Mark Crusaders bought an industrial-sized pet hair dryer. <laughs> <coughs> and sorry, and Winona is like a pancake. <laughs>
This is not this is not right. Say this is not right. Should be a little bit more um Yeah, that's 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 it, that's it, that's what that's what it should have been more like. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm just gonna get rid of this. I just sorry, I'm just finding that thing distracting. Yeah, that'll do. Hmm. I'll include a cutie mark off screen. So, and the rainbow mane, I think I'll also do off screen. Okay. Anyways, what was I? Hmm. There's a oh, so it's a reference to the. Uh, to the fact that we're getting a My Little Pony moo uh, game, new My Little Pony game. Let's see. Um, um, yeah, that's the art book taken care of. Um, where is that? Um, let's see. Um, Jurassic Cool. Hmm. It has to be from the books. Hmm. Hmm. It looks like we got. Hmm. Just getting myself a quick drink. I didn't know this character existed. It, it, I mean, I thought that was in the. I was thought that was in this uh, show. Hmm. I was apt to improvise a little bit on this one. Now to make sure I, I still go with community with community guidelines, means the thing will have has to be a bubble. It can't be the real deal. Uh, now I'm I'm just out of curiosity. Has uh, this character ever met uh, Gorilla Grodd? We all know that uh, Gorilla Grodd one's intention is to try and wipe out all of humanity, so apes would rule the earth. It's just uh, just in case the Injustice Two wasn't um, in case Injustice Two wasn't. Uh, 
didn't give you any hints. I mean, especially in the quotes, like, uh, man. <laughs> I mean, just listen to Grill Grod with his intros, and you can, and you may, and you'll know why he's not happy that humanity is taking over the earth. He's like, ending humanity is a kindness. Yeah, it is. Just making uh, sure he um, yeah. Let's just say his uh, the book is resting on his uh, feet. Let's say there we go. We have the detective chimp reading a detective story like like Sherlock Holmes. Hmm. Elementary, my dear Watson. Yeah, let's see what else we got. We got a fantasy. What do we have? Um, a legitimate block of cheese reading a cookbook. What the heck is it? A cannibal? Hmm. Why not ask me to draw the re? Yo, the. Yo. <laughs> Actually, Nosferatu is not an. Uh, sorry, but Nosferatu is not a actual book. It started off as a mo movie. It, it's it's um, Dracula that's the novel. Well, so I cannot fulfill that one. Uh, let's see. Um, where is he? Which of these spots are taken? Only adventure, detective, and the art book are taken. Everything else is fa everything else is you can request anything. Let's see what we got. <laughs> oh yes, I remember. I I don't remember reading any of of this, but I did remember seeing a lot of it on. Uh, I do remember seeing a lot of it um, in. In, in bookshelves and even in my school I was never a I was never a big goosebumps kid but um, Yeah, let me just look up who was the... Who was the original author for... Spubs? Ah! Hmm. 
And there was there I did remember I will say there was an episode of Extreme Ghostbusters. Here's where they um where they had uh where they they had a they had a character who was basically based on the guy who created Goosebumps and he too makes horror novels for children. Hmm. But then one day he started writing a book which accidentally brought a bunch of ghosts to life. They call they call them the Vathek. They are type of specters that, that come alive when something comes to life and whatever is being written is happening whenever what whatever is being written it means it's ha it's actually happening in real life. Yes. So if or, if anybody were to interfere with the guy's works, it, it, the interference will also happen with the Vathek. For example, instead of uh, if you um, remove the word blade and replace it with egg, the the Vathek will be holding onto an egg instead. Okay, that's uh, that's horror taken care of. Oh, what's this? Miraculous ladybug, Mike Beeson. Um, how does uh? Can you bring me? Sorry, I'm just I'm just oh, I'm just scratching my head. Why exactly do you just randomly want? Me to draw Ami reading Jurassic Park. It's just very random, let's say. Huh. Now, some of you, so, uh, now I'm sure a few of you might probably be wondering in that during my author section, why did I not include J.K. Rowling? Well, uh, kind of like, um, um, well, well, let's just say, um, J.K. Rowling has been in a bit of controversies, let's say, especially on Twitter. I don't want to go into, I don't want to go, uh, explain why, but, um, let's just say, um, People question about her. People often question about about her views on the LGBT community. Let's say. But of course, her still her works on Harry Potter are still amazing. So again, you may not like her as a person, but she does. She still has a good. She still has a good um, legacy for having um, for creating a world of of magic and stuff. Great source of entertainment. Again, you best to separate the art from the artist. You can enjoy. You don't have to enjoy who they who they are as people, but you can enjoy their works. Same can be said with John Christopher Lucy, the guy who made Ren and Stimpy, or Chris Savino, the creator of The Loud House, or John Lasseter, the guy who who um, helped make Toy Story and stuff. I, I know it can be hard for some people. Oh, I mean, some... Some... Times it's not easy to... Um, do that um, separating the art from the art to some people would say uh, maybe some of these uh, bad thoughts may have may have implemented in some of his stories he's I think I think a great example of that is the uh, is the song rooftops by lost profits some of some of the lyrics some of the lyrics might be very questionable since the got the lead singer of Lost Prophets, uh, he's been charged for something I cannot mention in this live stream. Heem. 
And in, in fact, this this line, particular line, gives off a hint of what I mean. All the love we had, I have no regret. See what I mean? So, I get that. I, that's why I completely understand that not everybody is able to sep try and separate from the art from the artist, but uh, I managed to do so, and I and that's how I'm I'm still able to enjoy Harry Potter or the Loud House or or um, Ren and Stimpy, anything like that. There we go, fellas. We have uh, Lincoln Loud as Harry Potter. Now, I'm not sure if you can, if this one can. Hmm, history fiction. I mean, this one here is a bit. A uh, bit. Um, let's see. We got history fiction, romance, sci fi, biography. Now, I think for history fiction, it takes place in the past, but uh, it's purely fiction. It's not re, you know, but it is based on some, it is a little bit based on something that did happen. In the past, that is. That is not fiction. That, that, that actually happened. Again, it's pretty random for me to just try and draw army doing Jurassic Park. It's just so random and out of place. Um, what's the thing? Yeah, all right. Um, wait, let me just double check in case I missed anything. Nope. Um, well, maybe, maybe then. Uh, uh, never mind. I'll, I'll do it anyway. Oh, oh uh, thank you. Um, uh, let's see. Um, George... An insurance book. That's a new one. Where is... Who is Sura Tiger? Sura Tiger. Where's that character? Where's that from? Um, can I... Uh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll take a peek. Seguro Sur. Right. Yeah, it kind of looks like uh, that that ch that Cheeto um that Cheeto lep um Cheetah guy. Hmm. And also Tony Tiger, the Frosty's guy. They're great. But then again, um, I shouldn't be complaining because there are some serials that that even Malaysia has an exclu There are some products and serials that are that are um, not necessarily found in the U.S., but they are found in other places around the world. In fact, Malaysia has its own um, Malaysia has its own breakfast breakfast cereals like uh, Coco Crunch has a koala. Which has a koala, huh. and um, there's a honey stars, which has a bear, and um, heck, we even have our own Milo cereal. Hmm. Um, in fact, they I, I I still I can still remember those commercials where they go Nestle Coco Crunch. The greatest cereal with the, the breakfast cereal with a great chocolatey taste. And, um, wait, let me just, um, what was that again? Um, 
And uh, as for honey stars, it's like honey stars, the tastiest stars by universe. Hmm. Um. They um. But of course, they we do have some of the uh, some of the UK and US serial mascots as well, oh, like uh, we had Fruit Loops, oops, with that toucan. That was at one at, at one point in history, Toucan Sam was voiced by Mel, the legendary voice actor Mel Blanc, who um. Best known for voicing Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, Porky Pig, Sylvester Tweety, and many of the other Looney Tunes characters. And if there's also, we also have uh, Coco Pops with that monk key. Key, um. The. It was a, it was a British series. I, I think it was British, I, I can't remember, but. Um, uh, we certainly had it in in England. Now, what was the um 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 and um, heck um we heck even Malaysia has its own heck even Malaysia has an import of cocoa pebbles from the Flintstones the. You know the you know the serial where they um, Barney often has a scheme to try and get Fred's cereal. And he's like, "Watch me trick Fred out of these grody pebbles." Excuse he did in his disguise. He says, "Excuse me, sir. Me and my son have traveled a long way, and we're low on energy. Can you spare us a few pebbles?" Ah, sure, sure thing, ma'am. Then let's. Let's see, mmm, berry blue, straw, cherry, and lime, and grape, and so much. Ah, that's a cute baby. <laughs> Dino! Barney, my pebbles! A, a gentleman never strikes a lady. No cocoa, no fruity pebbles comes with this complete breakfast. Yabba dabba delicious! Something like that. And of course, there's um, the tricks that rabbit that goes at who tries to steal the who tries to steal the kids. Uh, no, no, no. Actually, that that's Chippy. I mean, he often tries to get, but the kids say, "Silly rabbit! Tricks, tr um, tricks are only for tricks are only for boys and girls." Fools. I mean, uh, tricks are only for kids, that's what I meant. In fact, there's another character that tried to steal cereal, but but, uh, but often keeps missing. They call him Cookie Crisp. They're, it was for Cookie Crisp. They, it's either Chippy the Wolf or a Puma, well, let's say. And um, and they're like, you know, these cookies, they, they, they like cookies. They taste like them too, but it's a breakfast cereal. I'm following, I remember watching the UK Kimmer. Shows then this chippy tries to get to tries to get the um um the cookie crisp to by by spring slingshotting himself but he fails and then it ends with him trying to get the the cookie crisp again with another plan like uh digging <laughs> next time. While some while ending by saying, "Let's next time I'll get my cookie crisp." What other mascots do you know? Hmm. Now, are there any mascots in your country that I have not heard of, and you prob and you might know? And let me um. I'm okay, and uh, one more thing.
Yeah, I think that's the best I can do. All right. Um, let's see. Um, hunt your team. Let's see our robbery. Ooh, wait, what was that again? Tank man from Friday Night Funkin'. I thought it was a Newgrounds thing. And he's not from. He actually isn't from from New. He actually isn't from Friday Night Funkin'. He's actually one of the Newgrounds mascots, along with Peabot and Pico and Alien Hominid. Ho or Hominid, I'm not sure. Um, he's not from Friday Night Funk. Okay, he was much. He's much older than that. I think he was around in the nineties. In fact, I remember being aware of him in the year in uh, 2007 at school, where they there was a website that allowed you to play games while at school. Hmm. In fact, Newground, Newgrounds has a lot of mascots. I mean, if you if you remember this game called Newgrounds Rump. It basically, it's basically a, um, a, a, um, a fighting a smash a Super Smash Brothers like Flash game that lets you play as that lets you play as many of the new grounds um, characters, including um, including P Bot and. Uh, and including Peabot and uh, Pico and Alien Hominid and Tank Man. There's another character, but I might get in trouble for saying this. I'm uh, 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 part of my language, but he, I called him the Sass Hole, let's say. Samurai something hole. Mm. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to color him like this. Just not easy to draw, um, to color in a character who's a. Yeah, I think I'll do. <laughs> so that's it, fellas. That's Tank Man uh, reading World War One history. Yep, I'm. I'm sorry, fellas. It was. It was my mistake. <laughs> now I can assure you, it will never. Uh, it will never happen again. At least on this one. Um. So let's see. A history. F Oops. No, that's not it. History fiction is then. So do we, you know any romantic novels? But not Fifty Shades of Grey. Anything but Fifty Shades of. Gray. You want to know more about Fifty Shades of Grey? Just hear Gilbert Gottfried read it. And and once you once you, if you actually do take a peek at that book, you'll react the same way as Gilbert Gottfried. Holy f is this wrong? By holy hell, is it something? <laughs> uh, especially Twilight. Twilight, I don't mind. <laughs> actually, the the book was actually in was actually started off as a as a book, as a as a fan fiction of Twilight. Uh, let's see, let's see. Oh, sorry, sorry. The Titanic was not actually based on the book; it was based on a real life event. Ah, uh, yes, that 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 could work better. Okay. Hmm. 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 Hmm.
Hi Hi Puffy Yami Yumi is one of is one of the early was I think it's one of if not the first show I've ever seen that focuses on a fictionalized version of real people. Hmm. Now this is something that's not new. And I think it was I think something like that was done during the days of the Beatles. I mean and I mean there was a um, There was the show called there was a show called the Beatles cartoon in 1965 where it was one of the first to it was one of the first to to be a show that focuses on fictional versions of real people. They didn't get the actual Beatles to voice them, but they uh, they got some well-known pe people to voice them like uh, Paul was it Paul Freeze the, the the same guy who would voice in the haunted mansion and uh, would also be one of the original voice one of the early voices for Professor Von Drake he was a bit of a Disney legend <laughs> and he, he provides the voice of George and ring of George and John, while this other guy named Lance Percival, he provides, he's an actual British guy who does the voice of Paul and Ringo. Oh. And, and usually each episode goes like this, There's an, they're in a goofy situation and they sing a song, which is basically they play the Beatles song, like um, the the episode, for example, Hard Day's Night, they, they, the band were practicing. They I think they were invited to some, where they ended up in a haunted house, and then, and then out of nowhere, there are these monsters and demons, like a witch and a mummy, and a werewolf. And then they, they're like, oh well, might as well sing for them, and then they sing the Hard Day's Night. Da 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 da. And uh, another called Roll Over Beethoven, where they help out an elephant named Beethoven. And in another episode, they they were tasked to try and soothe a tiger, you know, who's like all moody and stuff, but. Um, Hmm. Hmm. And they what to what do they sing? All oh, my loving da 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 um, and then the, and the, and there was a one where they're in a race and they go they they're in a car race and what song did they sing? Baby you can drive my car and one more. Her they they were underwater, they come across an octopus and what do they sing? I want to hold your hand. You thought you thought Octopus is Garden, right? Nope that that song came out later. That song didn't didn't come out when during that episode. No, oh, it was I want to. Yeah, it's very random. But um, the Beatles at first, the, the actual Beatles at first didn't like it, but then they grew to liking it over later over the years. And because of the Beatles cartoon, we've it, it, it's also sparked a line on having um, celebrity endorsed shows like uh, the Michael Jackson, the, the Jackson Five had a cartoon, the Osmonds had a cartoon. Um, um, there's Mike Tyson's Mystery, and there's Jackie Chan Adventures, and. And there's uh, and there's plenty of others. And heck, even Ellen DeGeneres had a had a cartoon, had a had a cartoon based on herself. Wasn't that well received? There we go. We have Ami as a. Uh, hmm. 
Hmm. Reading. Now let's see for sci-fi. Hmm. Somebody asked me to draw a, a human character from Pokemon. Now this is going to be a challenge. He up to keeps looking angry. <laughs> Even when he's smiling, he often looks just I mean if you take a, if you just focus on the eyes and don't and don't focus on him smile you know, Ling, you, it looks like he's just annoyed or or ticked off. Um, Wait just a minute, since the person didn't make a specific, uh, um, specific, um, just trying to see what, what's the best one we, what's the most famous one do we have, um, um, huh, ah, okay, so this one's, this one's, uh, this one's another one. I didn't realize Doom was a was a was a epic, and it has a. Nah, I don't think that works. 
Um, Actually, I think I better um, scooch the hands a little bit. Just um, instead of a, instead of a full body, I'll just have him read on a table. Let's see here. Um, <laughs> how's that jinx me? Hmm. Do any of you know any biographies? I mean, sure, they're not exactly based on. Yeah. I never heard of Doom. What is. Oh. Okay, we got, we got quite a number. We got quite a number of. Uh, Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I guess, uh, I guess, uh, hmm. I could technically count this as, uh, Actually, I think it was more like this. Um, now, here's another. Th here's a funny thing about. Um, do you remember the 1967 Spider-Man, and the one with the with the legendary theme song, Spider-Man, Spider-Man does whatever a spider can. Da 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 da. He has a Spider-Man. He, um, this, um, um, now because that, that series was, was low budget, especially, even for its time, um, they, um, they had, they, they had to keep some costs down, like they couldn't have all, all of Spider-Man's, uh, thing completely, 
as it is. I mean, Spider Spider Man's web didn't cover the entire body, so the center of it was the center of it just had a black spider in the middle of a sea of red. Let's say. We were a better idea. Here we go, we have Spider-Man versus Dr. Crane case. Comics are definitely done. I guess uh, I guess since I've done Dr. Zeus, whose uh, children's books are also crossed out too. So anyways, um where was I? Oh yeah. Um Hebe. Um. Um. Okay, okay, I, I remember. Okay, yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm just, um. Oh, um. <laughs> basically, basically, um, looking like Hera except a lot younger. Well, first I must draw the book first. Yes, I am. I think I may have said this before, but I do. Miss Eric Carl. Oh. Hmm. 
<laughs> some of now some of you might be wondering why are sometimes the words at what seems to be the back of the books <laughs> um well in some places like Japan in some places like Japan um the um uh, the characters, um, um, in some places like Japan, books can often are often read at the back page. Hmm. Hmm. Especially in the mangas. Um, Again, the hairstyles sometimes vary depending on Um, and I think I'll, I'll go with the one I sort of did last time I drew her. This is taking a while. I'll do th I think I'll do the hair later. Just um just focus on the body. Mm. Just having her 
read over a box or something. Never mind. <laughs> and now I can include the hair. Hmm. I think I'm getting rid of the bunion. Yeah, I think this will do fine. And just uh, include the little tyke as well. Oops. <laughs> that would have been nightmare inducing. Um, yeah, I think uh, I think I got that sorted out. Hera reading to Hebe, or Heap, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. And all right, so uh, let's see what we got here. Hi from Chester. i I've been to Chester many times, so hello. Okay, let's see. We still need biography, cookbook, history, and act. Oh wait, um, activity book. Um, um, it doesn't always have to be arts and crafts, but uh, but some people, some say it's uh, like an exercise book or some. So um, oh um, wait wait, what do I uh, wait? Is that looks strangely familiar? Yes, I remember him.
Из меня здесь ничего. Just need to make sure this thing is a bit bigger. Oh wait, one more thing I'm missing. And uh, yikes, I'm not supposed to have... He's not supposed to have that many spikes. Oh, I kind of made a mistake on the other one. And uh, it wasn't... At, and actually, it's not spikes at all. It's just a part of his glasses. Oh, well, I made a bit of a mistake on that part with... Uh, during my Christmas Carol thing. There we go. Um, what else is there? Hmm. I often keep getting requested stuff that were meant for toddlers. I mean, this is clearly Disney Junior. You know, I, I yet, uh, so I'm just thinking about the time I uh, once made a, I actually once made a game, game, it was actually a school project, it was called Something Scary Scrambled Our School. Now because Flash is, is you can't use Flash um, 
the flash files on the online anymore uh, you're not able to play as the game I do have a gameplay of it on YouTube in case you want to check out but let's just say I once came up with this thing called one of one of the levels I came up with is the haunted library where you have to answer as many questions in order to make sure the books are disabled Hold. And the, and the books are portrayed as, as creatures like piranhas. They want to eat. They want to eat you or something. Hmm. And when you answer a question correctly, they, they become regular books. Or one of them takes a cab to get out of here. And another stabs itself. I had a dark sense of humor back then. And funny enough, the Owl House also has sort of a haunted library type of feel. It looks like there's only about, there's only three types of books left, or maybe a few others. In ca it was on Nick Jr. at once. Oh great, it's another one of those uh, shows where it used to air on many different networks. I mean, we have Star Wars that used to be on Cartoon Network, but now it's on Disney. We have um, the Smurfs that used to be on Cartoon Network. And now, now it's owned by Nickelodeon. Same with Garfield. The Transformers is also another bit of a flip-flopper. It was on Cartoon Network, and then it was on The Hub, and then it was on Cartoon Network, and now they're making Nickelodeon's having another one. Uh, I already, I already did, I already did uh, biography, so never mind. Uh, let me see. Uh, okay. Admittedly, I kind of prefer Draculaura a bit more. But, then, but of course, I made a bit of a rule that I can't really do Monster High because their details are so immense. And uh, it, did, it took me an hour to draw Draculaura's head. I never bought it with the body. So, this is. So, at the very least, I. Hmm. It also, isn't isn't this kind of like that the Casper School? There's, there's a, there was a show called Casper School. Isn't that a little bit similar? Hmm. Or hmm. isn't or is it? Um,
I'm not very, mainly I'm not very good at uh, scissors, so I'm, I'm just gonna, okay, I'm, I am not good at scissors. I'll just draw the scissors over here. There we go. Personally, if I were to have a kitty version of a vampire, I, I stick with Roller Brawl or Night Shift or Hotel Transylvania. Okay, let's, uh, we've only got two left, History and Encyclopedia. And what type of encyclopedia do you want? You can have a, it can be an animal encyclopedia, it can be a history encyclopedia, it can be a... Or what about... Uh, reg reg Actually, what am I doing? In the World War One book thing is not history fiction, it's regular history. So, um, just moving it here. Actually, I think uh, I think it was a mistake for me to put the history fiction. I mean, uh, let me let me just look up uh, what which examples of history fiction are there. Um, there's uh, there's the book thief. Yeah, you may have, and there's Gone with the Wind, and. and um, mm, I think those, those are the, uh, and there's, there's even, and there's even war, was it, was it? A Tale of Two Cities, and there's War and Peace. And uh, just, uh, just giving you some examples out there. And let's see, we have, and there's an encyclopedia. Huh. There's a. I I already did. I already I'm I I kind of already did the history with the World War One thing. So do you guys know anything about history fiction? History fiction. Ah, okay. Uh. Wait, wait. From Professor Layton. Yeah, this looks sort of very anime-ish. Oh, it's a it's a game. It's a game. It has a little bit of a Studio Ghibli vibe, or Ghibli. Sorry if I mispronounced that. Um, what was that again? Um.
Oops, something's up, right? Um, what was that again? Oh yeah, um... Apparently this character has a Hmm, I think I probably would have had a lot more fun if I did the based on the author types because um, provides a bit of a challenge. Oh well. So I'm just rambling to myself. I sometimes do that. You know, that's the thing with, with some live streams. Sometimes when I when I ask people to, when I ask people what they want, and I, I have like, when it comes to live streams, sometimes I have like so many different options, and I ask folks if which version they want me to do or not, and when they, and when most people vote for, for some types, oops, sometimes I wonder whether or not the, the other, the the ones that I didn't do, they were, they may have been have included let's say I want what if they um, some potential let's say hmm. that they could have been pretty something pretty gay great or something challenging hmm. a lot of pe some people prefer the easier option because it helps me because um, um, it makes it easy for them to request something or something sometimes maybe some some things I, I ask for maybe a bit too complicated and so I, I want to try and be in, as fair to as many people as possible oh. but I try not to dumb down too much which is why I, I always ask people if they want a challenge or not Sometimes it's always good to ask if you guys are up for a challenge, and if you don't want to, that's fine. I can always go for an easy option. But sometimes a challenge can help build up some creativity. Like, uh, like during my uh, April Fool's live stream, where I basically ask people to request anything they want. And what they got isn't exactly what they wanted. It, it's something else that just happens to sound similar to what they requested. I was pretending to be deaf. Um, oh wait, I, f I forgot. I can read. I was. I was. I was. 
pretending to mistake it for somebody yet something else. It was a sick for April Fools. And that was a bit of a challenge for me. Okay, history fiction is done. Um Okay. Now let's see, we have um is it Spinal from Steven Universe? No, it ain't. No, it ain't. I'm surprised not a lot of people in my community are Steven Universe fans. Because, like I said before, I'm kind of afraid to do Steven Universe. Yes, But if somebody were to pay me to do Steven Universe, then maybe I might gain that confidence up. <laughs> it wouldn't be a fun to have it dumbed down. It was a nice prank. <laughs> Let's see, uh, huh. Now this one is a challenge. Um, no, what was I again? have a similar book to this it's also by Eric Carl the guy who cre created the hungry caterpillar here it's um it's called dragons dragons that was my introduction to a t ton of of uh, mythical creatures um, yeah, for example it was my introduction to the basilisk or a cockatrice and uh, a leviathan and a two-headed snake on each end the amphisbina and um, there's also my introduction to the griffin and the hippogriff it had some creatures I already knew like the unicorn which I always thought was a donkey he I mean the tails were definitely donkey related and that was in the original, in the original, um, Greek, in the original drawings, a unicorn is often shown to have, a um, a, um, a donkey's tail, rather than a unicorn's tail. Cool. In, um, And, I was like, and it also and then, and then sometimes when I look at the donkey eating a carrot, I'm often think to myself, why is the unicorn eating its own horn? <laughs> it wasn't until My Little Pony when when they start or something else where they decided that unicorns should have horse tails. All right, um, that's uh, that's the encyclopedia done. And I'm allowing one more. We're doing one more request before we cap this off. And it can be any book you want. Any book you want. You can have a character from a book you love so much. Or a character dressing up as that character from a book. Or a character reading from that book. Which one? What is your favorite? It can be anybody. It can be absolutely anybody. Anything. Let's see. Unicorns are often depicted with wings though. So, traditionally, unicorns are alicorns? Hmm.
There we go. We have Sonic with a uh, with a pop up book. Uh, wait, wait, just a minute. Let me just. Uh... Yeah, that's better. Hmm. And fellas, this concludes our uh, request. Let me just answer. Oh, wait, wait. Ah, oh, <laughs> off stream request being visible of Discord of Smog and Jer. Oh, okay, I can I can do this off screen. All right. <laughs> uh, thing. Thanks for that. All right. Whew. Well, that's me. Oh, hey, Tails. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, what time an enemy? Because you could just do join thing. Three bears. Ned Flatteners with the Bible. You forgot to put the hinges on. Oh, oh yeah. Sorry about that. Um, this fix on Lincoln's glass. Is, now sometimes if I if I made a mistake, I can always fix them off screen. There we go. We have Lincoln as Harry Potter. Yeah, I think that's a. Uh, but yeah. Um, who's your favorite Spider-Man? Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, or Tom Holland? I prefer Tobey Maguire. <laughs> and Mario livestream. Actually, um, hmm. It could be next week. Actually, make that, uh, there's a... 
Oh, um, am I missing uh, Ring's hat? Ring's hat. Um, let's see. What did I? Where did I put? Ah, here it is. Uh, oh dang! I uh, <laughs> there was another. There was another verse. Uh, I must have got it from. Uh, I forgot about. Um, apparently, there was a there was a version of 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 Ring of uh, of the character of Ring without. The ring on his head, and I remember seeing a uh, another picture that doesn't have the ring on his hat. Okay, uh, thanks for reminding me. All right. Um, okay, what was I? Um, have you seen the Cuphead show? Not yet, but I will. Like I said, Tobey Maguire is my favorite. Have you call come and learn with P? I have seen the, a bit of it in the beginning, but I, I, uh, it's also his wand. Okay. Hmm. Can you do a Friday Night Funkin' live stream? I have not heard, I have not played Funkin' Night, Friday Night Funkin', and I, I, I don't, I don't fully understand it, like, at all. I can do a new ground steam live stream if you want. You do another wildlife live stream? Can I? Um, I have to. I have to really think about this one. I want to try and make it as different from the last one. I don't want to repeat myself a bit too much on that. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. My favorite books are the one with Jeremy's. Ones. Happy Book Day, dude. Maybe a Nets World theme live stream. That is a possibility, but I'll have to think about that more. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, um, let's see what. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna see the Batman. I hope to do so. Yes. Um, the other spot is taken. I can't wait to see the Batman again. You what? You see. Um, I've ever seen. People mistake the rhino for a unicorn. Take a look at the Elasmatherium. That's basically a giant unicorn. And, yeah, somebody asked the 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 the, dine, the the somebody asked for the dinosaur thing. So, keep asking you, what is your favorite? I didn't hear you. I was at school. It's Toby Maguire. Again, it is Toby Maguire. Is does manga count as a comic? Yeah, it ca yeah, it counts if it's if it's I, I count manga as a comic. Do a fairy tale theme have him? I'll think about that. I'll think about that. Um, uh, let's see. Um, what's the next live stream going to be? Okay, so I think that's all the question asking. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to take, let me, let me just see what's, when do I, um, it's, uh, going to take a, I'm going to take a week and a half of a break from doing any live stream because in the next live stream, you could say it's sort of similar to what I did at Blue with the Blue Sky theme live stream, and but really it's more it's more based on uh, it's more based on and because the end because on the next stint on the on this live stream we're celebrating an anniversary of uh, of of a, of a franchise. We're we're doing a a live stream which is on the twenty earth anniversary of a franchise. Yes. Um. And now now before I say anything before I say anything um let's just say um it's a this one is more of a uh, sequel to my uh, to my di digging up dinosaurs live stream. Hey. And when the when the meteor hit the Earth, the di it wiped out sixty five percent of life, including all the giant dinosaurs. But this left room for little creatures called mammals to grow into some gigantic sized beasts. Yes. and this includes a gig a cat with with not with giant knives for teeth, and an elephant, extremely hairy. Yes. And many other prehistoric animals after the dinosaurs. So, yeah, something like that. And uh, tune. And I hope to see you all 
on on March 15th the end I hope you've enjoyed this video